This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. In Trump White House, Twitter will be in, business as usual is out. By Jack Davis. Just as President-elect Donald Trump changed the dynamics of communicating with the American people during his candidacy, his presidency will also usher in a new era of communication between the White House and the American people. Business as usual is over, Sean Spicer, Trump's incoming White House press secretary, told radio host Hugh Hewitt on Thursday. Spicer said that Trump, who blazed a new communication trail with his use of Twitter, will not be wedded to White House precedents. I think the thing that you've seen with Donald Trump is that he doesn't, he doesn't look to the past and say I've got to conform to these precedents. He figures out what's the best way, Spicer said. Spicer said the traditional White House press conference will remain, but will become part of a new mix of options that are still under discussion. Earlier this week, Spicer said Trump will continue his Twitter use as president, saying it will be a really exciting part of the job. I think that his use of social media in particular, is gonna be something that's never been seen before," Spicer told Rhode Island news station WPRI. He has this direct pipeline in the American people, where he can talk back and forth. I think that allows him to add an element of a conversation that's never occurred," Spicer added. He can put his thoughts out and hear what they're thinking in a way that no one's ever been able to do before. I mean, he does communicate in a much bigger way than there's ever been before, and I think that's gonna be just a really exciting part of the job. Spicer told Hewitt Trump has many options, maybe we do some town hall, you know, Facebook town halls. Maybe we go out and solicit input from Twitter. I don't, I mean, the answer is we're looking at a lot of things, he said. Spicer was clear that direct communication with the American people which often bypasses the mainstream media, will continue to be a major part of Trump's connection with the American people. There's no question that you see through the platforms that exist right now, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, he's closing in like 45 million people that he can have a conversation with, Spicer said, while we have to sort of do these press conferences because they're part of the fabric of our country, if you will. There are also some new opportunities that we can be utilizing to bring more people into the process and have a conservation with the American people and not just limit it through the filter of the mainstream media," he added. When Hewitt asked Spicer about the impact of the changes on the mainstream media, Spicer noted, business as usual is over. Spicer said Trump's communications strategy is not based on what the media wants, but what the people deserve. The president-elect looks at this and says what's best for the country. How do we put America and Americans first and stop trying to figure out how we cater to you know, pundits and the establishment class, big donors? He is putting Americans first and foremost, Spicer said. Spicer noted that the Trump White House will be listening as well as talking, when he talks about Americans first, he means I don't care what a bunch of elites tell me or people at a dinner party. He wants to know what American workers care about, what American families care about, what's going to help American businesses grow. The goal of changing the communications mix, Spicer said, is to bring more Americans into communications activities, respect the American taxpayer more, and yield a better result. Spicer said that Trump's communications plan flows from an overall philosophy for the administration as a while. I think that's where sometimes the liberal media gets this wrong. It's not saying we're going to treat it like a business, quote unquote, he said. It's making sure that there's a mentality that says can we make sure we get the American people a better product for their money so that they're enjoying their lives better, they have more opportunity, we're growing jobs, wages have a better thing, and you know, that regulations are a fundamental part of them where we're looking at them and saying what can we ensure we do so that we're not hampering businesses from helping our own people get more in their paycheck," he said. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been, the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date, on the latest news about our president. Be informed.